even like even when you had to go to jail, did you get humbled by that, or was it like you was already kind of you? You just happened to be a part of your circumstance. I don't know if that humbled me. Really, you know, mm. I don't know if that humbled me. When my when I lost my daughter, that humbled me. Yeah, that because yeah, life gets real, right? Like, oh, does really it get real? real. You, don't you, care how much money you got, how famous you got, to yeah. deal with that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> deal with that big shot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah famous yeah. boxer. Hello, we have another episode of Hot Boxing. I'm Mike Tyson. And I'm Bash. And we have the man. The, the, the man. And listen, I'm going to say this is going to be a real entertaining evening. And I just want to say we have Cedric the Entertainer here. How you doing, Ced? My guy, what's up, what's Mike? Going what's going on, on man? We go yeah. way back, Ced. I saw, I saw you in, um, what's that, um... Um, Robin Harris place before. Yeah, yeah, what that was, was yeah back. What was that? Kamiak Theater. Kamiak Theater. Yeah, yeah, back in. Um, you had you had your um, your baller hat there, your yeah, string, your straw hat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I always, I always wore the fedoras, and then I'd had a, the the the, the peel straw, box, the, the, the straw the, one, right? Yeah, the, the yeah, Italian boater. They call it. Yeah, you look good. Yeah, in that yeah, yeah too, that's bro. my that's my move. And then like yeah, the DJ Cassidy started rocking them. A lot yeah. of people started doing it though. I like that man. But we go back. I remember meeting you in a club in New York, like way back Tell in the day. That. Like, yeah, it was just one of those. It was just one <laughs> of those situations yeah. where you know, like you, you know, like you, you know, you was just hella famous. So you know, I'm walking through. I got my little bit of fame. You know what I mean? I'm thinking my section popping, mm -hmm. and then and then Mike come through, and everybody just like, oh. <laughs> and then yeah, people get up, yeah. I lost all my little chicks. Everybody <laughs> left. They was like, oh, hey, my. Hey, my. Oh, look but at no, me. We all you lived a full life, bro. That's good. And then, and then at your house in, uh, that, your, your house in, uh, oh, that was a classic story. So your house in Las Vegas, and you were, you, you was just about to move out this house, the one where you used to have the lions and the tigers, right? And you was just about to move out. And I mean, you was mad. You was mad because you was telling us the story. Like, and it was like a, it's a bunch of people at the house. And yeah. then he was like, come upstairs. And then, you know, you Mike Tyson, you, I guess you was, I don't know, were you getting ready for a fight? Remember, you was in your underwear like you was about to do a weigh-in. <laughs> It was like, come here. He just wanted to talk. Like, he was like in his underwear, wanted to talk. I'm like, Mike, no, uh, this is uncomfortable. But you was like, you was upset, though. I just remember you was talking about, like, no, wanting to take the house or you was leaving. You was like, you was on one at that, that time. And then you was in your underwear, you was mad. I was like, oh, you know, I'm going to get on out of here. Man. <laughs> I'm going to go on back to the kitchen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think, yeah, yeah at that mean, point, like, I think I'm thirsty. That's yeah, what, yeah. I think I'm going to go yeah, down to the kitchen. Can I get anybody something from the yeah. kitchen? Just, <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to know. Hey, Mike, funny yeah. story. So uh, after the Super Bowl, Cedric was actually in the locker room. He brought down Prince Harry in the locker room. <laughs> the Super Bowl big win. man. Yeah, yeah big it man. Was, it was, it was, that was, <laughs> that was <laughs> classic. We were lit. You know. And man, they had him with the now because they done kicked him out of the white field. Yeah, you know. That's what happened, man. Ain't you no know, more. And he got the yeah, he got this. Yeah, he gonna he be got our the, king, king, queen, royalty. He'll be our royalty. He in the states now too. Yeah, 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 let's pull up. He knows now black is beautiful now. You understand mm -hmm. that? You understand? He, he wanted that? to go down on the. He wanted to go down on the pitch. He yeah, said, "Listen, black made him leave the royal house." What? His woman, the royal black, house? Yeah, black made him leave the royal castle. Hell yeah, I mean, come on, man. Didn't happen to the best of us. Get that. I ain't definitely. Up. I ain't never really had no princes or nothing. <laughs> I mean, a girl named Princess. Yeah, man. Does, does it work the opposite? Up. Huh? Does it work the opposite? Can, can like, like, because people say like black dudes go to white girls and they mm -hmm. won't come back. Like they'll go over. Like you don't think that's the same? No, that's um. I heard <laughs> girls say um. Some <laughs> shit for, we, uh, if you go black, you never go back. You know what I yeah, mean? Right. They talk shit too. That's true though. But the, or the girls or the dudes? Yeah, girls. Oh yeah, they yeah. That's true. Too. Yeah, I think so. But you know. I, I ain't uh But listen, man, time. Yeah. You're a comedian. You're the king of comedy. You tell me some of your, your um your lascivious stories and stuff. Oh, God. Well you know, man, I mean, you know, like we did we did the Kings of Comedy, which was was, was you, took you on know, tour, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was rock and roll oh, comedy, crazy. man, at the time. Especially the first year, like the the first year, I wasn't married, so I was mm. out there. I was the only one not married, so mm. I was out there. You know, it was pretty you rock. Know, it was pretty rock and roll, man. It was pretty rock and roll. I drove down uh, Melrose. They used to be spot the ghetto now. 
Oh, oh yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, Melrose, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, Melrose are, government, and, and they be doing like this scary, little. Yeah. They snatch the watches off people's hands yeah. over there and everything. Dogs, like, yeah. all of it. They don't care. Damn, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Take your dog. Yeah, break. French bulldogs. One was getting robbed. Oh, somebody somewhere. take your French bulldog. That's, That's cold blooded right there. Cold blooded. Right. I'd kill it for yeah. my dog. Yeah. What kind of dog you got? Golden Doodle. Oh yeah. Oh, that's beautiful dog. I love my dog. Little dogs like your dogs. You got a little. I, we had little dogs. I used to have some yeah. little as Yorkies, mm -hmm. and you know, like again, a big man while like myself. But you know, the kids wanted them. But I live out there where it's all windy. You know, mm -hmm. I'm walking them on the leash, and the little boy, that wind. Blow his ass up. Just fly away. Then they up in the air like kites one day. Like, oh, a coyote got one. Yeah, I was going to say, it was one, day, one day, I think that coyote tell this story. I always think about that coyote telling this story. Like, talking to the coyote, like, y'all ever had Yorkie? Yorkie good as hell. No, no, no. That oh, Labrador boy, they Retriever. Yeah, they, sure. they told our little Yorkie up, man. And he thought it was tough, too, because he was barking at the coyote. No, man. You know, and they'll oh, man. pull, the coyote slick. Yeah. They'll pull you into a group. So they'll yeah. be like one, and they'll act they like they run. They trap you. You run, you you run, run right run into the whole group. group. Yeah, mm -hmm. it be all of them out there. Like, yo, like. Listen, one day me and my wife was here. Me and my wife heard these coyotes tear this dog. The dog was fighting. Ah, 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 Dead. And then once they die, they go, oh, tell that boy, we got it. God, uh, dang. Yeah, that's, yeah. That, and that be happening, right, like in the regular you neighborhood. You hear it's not the baby. Because you, you, you be living in, the, li living in a regular neighborhood, you'll hear that. Like, you'll hear that and be like, damn. Yeah, nah, my, my, actually, uh, my teammate's dog got attacked by Coyote. Uh, ba yeah. Barely barely made it out. Crazy. Was he a big dog? Or uh, he, he was a French bulldog, so medium size. So, so yeah, he but... fought one off, and then thank God they ran out. And like, Do you know what happens at 4 o'clock in the morning in Los Angeles? What? They have mountain lions. What are those mountain lions, coyotes, all that shit comes out in the street, comes in Beverly Hills. Yeah. Late uh, in the morning. Oh, yeah. When COVID was out, you saw the wildest shit. <laughs> and no, COVID, I, I thought I saw a kangaroo one day. I mean, it'd be like, <laughs> no. they was the wildest animals out in the world. Like, I know it was some raccoons in my back barbecue, and they was on the grill. They was took, they took over. It was like a whole thing. No, but on a serious note, one day I was actually driving to practice. This is when I lived up uh, north. And I was, I was driving to practice, and I saw some shit in the middle of the street. I thought it was a dog. It was pretty big. I was actually pretty shocked how big it was. Yeah. I didn't know coyotes got that big. Mm. Uh, was, I was like, yo. It was a coyote? I was, was like, bro. Coyote them little motherfuckers. Nah, they bro. They skinny and they jump high as hell. Big tail. Smart. We had a bear in our yard this year. It was in October. We had a real bear over there. Like, And the, and the, and the people come and they tell you like, <laughs> they tell you like, yeah, just no, he, he, he doing his thing. Just let him live. He was breaking into people's cars. This bear was a thug, man. <laughs> this, this, this bear was a thug. Now, this bear, I think this bear was from Atlanta, like from the Swats. Where he'd be like, hey, you got down, what up? I like it. I, <laughs> what you got in your car? Hey, you got down, what in your car, homie? What's the, the f <laughs> hey, play, that, um, play the video where that tiger grabbed that woman. Oh, uh, in uh, like she get out the car? Yeah. Oh, uh, so, you know, we saw that the other day. Um, and she, he just come up. Fighting. Yeah. She fighting with the husband. But then the husband, he kind of, he runs he back. Tried, like, yeah. <laughs> get that, you get a divorce Damn. anyway. I <laughs> they were fighting anyway, right? He thought about it like, oh, this kind of works for me. Look at this. He runs, he's like, oh, he comes back. Look. Oh, he, he ran back. back. He a demon. He, he ran back. back. Look, 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 he faked it. He faked it. He faked it. He's going to go get a little. He said, oh, no. Help, help, help. That was a Oh, that's a mama. Look, look. That's a fake Hezzy by the husband. He dies, too. What is she doing out the fucking car, though? Fighting with her husband. The f out did there ain't no lions live there? Yeah, they at the they at the lion place, yeah. right? He, <laughs> dumb, he didn't line. even try to save her. Like what is she? What you can't be fighting that much. No. Nah. Some something's supposed to happen. I guess I don't, you know, God bless her good. Tiger survived if she tiger killed them three seconds, I bet. Oh. Three seconds she was dead. You used to have them shits, right? Yeah. Did you ever have a run in with your tiger man? Never. A lion, yes, never tiger. Yeah, lion too? Yeah, lion don't Around. Why did, so the tigers are like they chill or they No, like, well they chill, yeah. Mm -hmm. But Lion got to get in shit. Got to let you know he run this motherfucker. Yeah. You are eating the table, gets in the chair with you. You know, it's just um he be playing with your son. He go over there play with your wife. Now the tiger doesn't do that. He has stayed for one person. You know, it's your kid, it's your kids, your wife. She tell you mm, he go. He no one can come by me. 
Wow. That, that, why would you want these animals around? Like, what was that about? Though? Listen, um, I was in prison, right? I'm in prison, so oh, yeah. I'm talking to my car dealer while I'm in prison. Mm -hmm. You know, what I'm going to get when I get out. Okay. And he has to order it from, you know, Europe. So a friend of mine's owed him some money, so his cars are there. So he said, if such and such doesn't pay me my money back, I'm going to sell his cars and get some animals and what do you mean animals? He's like, you know, like horses and stuff, mm -hmm. coyotes, you know, wolves sometimes for pets. Mm -hmm. you, he said this. He said, um, yo, listen, it'd be so fly if you was in one of your Ferraris and you had a tiger in your passenger seat. That would be beautiful. I said, yeah, give me three of them. And then as soon as I came home, right? A week, a week, well, I came home a week and then he mailed them to me. My right, baby? He mailed she, them? Yeah, to she saw the tiger the day they got there, right, baby? It was three of them, three little babies. Were they were they good with your family? They like came with uh, the Amazon when they're little, when they're little, they yeah, pretty much. Like. This is even that's crazy. He's yeah. like, he's like, when I need you to sign here and here <laughs> for your live yeah, for tiger. your live, they live, live tiger. And they was yeah. little though, so you raised them. Little, yeah, we raised them. So you said oh, okay. that they were friendly with your family when they were younger, but when they yeah, got when older, they younger, um, they just want one guy to chill. Normally me, uh -huh. I spend more time with them. And then, but then, so then, what possessed you get a lion then? Well, um. He was like, dog, these tigers, they they cool. Something was, I don't know what happened to the lion. Some, it was being um, abused, and I, I said, give it to me, I'll buy it. Somebody was abusing okay. it. Okay. And then. Um, so it was a rescue, like a lion yeah, rescue. But listen. It's great. The tigers was afraid of the lion. <laughs> the tiger's twice the size, but he was afraid of the lion. The lion doesn't take. Yeah. Yeah, see, Tiger just don't want to be with him. Nobody looking to shot. Lying all over the place. What are you doing here? You know, yeah. it's all over oh, they get the, the main too? Was it the, the yeah. male line too? Yeah, male. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's crazy, man. They're the I, boss. They're the real no boss. I dude like that. Excuse me? I'm not a pet guy like no? that, man. Oh, man. I ain't never really grow up. We had one dog when I was growing up in my... In, in, my 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 mom let my sister name the dog, and they ruined it for me. Like, cause the dog was named Tasha. It just wasn't gangster. Yeah. Tasha, it was little. I didn't want to call the dog or nothing. Yeah. So I ain't never called the dog. And then and then the dog knew I ain't like it, then he ran away one day. And he looked back at me like, yeah. Motherfucker. Never came back. <laughs> when he ran, ran, I could tell. He was looking at me like, yeah, that's it. I'm yeah, gone. I'm out. Yeah. And he just jumped in the back of the truck. If our dog ever get away, we all have um, heart attacks. Well, Old house them some different dogs. A little lap, what they call? Golden Doodle. Golden Doodles. Them lovable dogs. Yeah, French right Bulldogs. Like them some lovable dogs. dogs. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Frenchies. Yeah, and, Frenchies yeah this dog was a. Yeah. This dog belonged to a junkyard or something. I don't know. He was like a. He was not a pretty dog. He was beat up, huh? Yeah, his name was Tasha, and I don't know if it was a dude or not. I don't know. It was before pronouns was out. How many uh, brothers and sisters you got? I, don't know. I got brothers? one sister. Yeah. I got a sister younger. Yeah, but she was like, like you know, as a girl, she was always more mature. She yeah. was the grownest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I met you. I met one of your sisters before. Yeah, it's probably what? What year? Uh, My sister passed in what ninety. Yeah, damn. No. You must have met on the square since she was my sister. But yeah, she, yeah, she yeah. said, "Oh, yeah, maybe so." Yeah, that yeah, okay, that's a whole nother thing. Wait, listen, right. but listen, I used to see you around a lot back in the days when I came out of prison. Oh man, ninety five. I came out ninety five. I seen you a lot. It's back been then. Oh, that's that's yeah. a blessing, man. It's been a long time ago. I mean, because it seemed like such a significant part of like your uh. Oh, uh, like people knowing your fame and like how it came like somewhere in the middle of it, and then, and how long you had? To, how long you served? I mean, I wanted to come three see years, you too. Three years. I wanted to come because I'm from St. Louis, and I'm yo, you know the Pruitt Indiana. family. Yeah, I know the Pruitt. Yeah, man. Yeah, I know the Pruitt. And I remember that because you was in Indiana, right? Yeah. Where did, where, did you, where you at? You in the bank though? It was in um, I forgot what part of Morristown, Pennsylvania. Something Pennsylvania. Like that. Mm. Oh, okay. No, not Pennsylvania. Indiana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I remember just I, like I was yeah. trying to get on that list to see you. You know, that was a whole thing. I was balling yeah. in prison. Yeah. I mean, it's, you know, it's actually my right. You ever got sure. locked up, Sid? Nah, man. I, you know, one time in college, you know, <laughs> smoking. we drink. had a little fight with some frat dudes, and they took us to the jail. But they ain't even locked me up. I was just said it. I sat out in the holding. They they put other people in the holding cell. So I ain't never even been behind the bars or none of that. Like, but they ain't even. They just set me down and then uh, then they let me go. So I ain't never really had to go to no kind of jail, man. 
Thank it's God. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, because I mean, when you see it, everybody think that they could do it. Like they like, uh, in their mind, like, oh, I'll just go in there and do my time. Oh. Oh, like, all this whole no snitching stuff everybody be on. Like, ah, I wouldn't snitch. I'm like, bro. Hey, once they listen, once they say they're not gonna snitch. Come on out. No, Sad, Cedric, once they, they got say, us. Once they say they're not snitching, they gonna see them crazy mother yeah. in there. They're not gonna leave. Tell them I'm ready. Call the prosecutor. Oh uh, no, yeah. You oh, got this nigga, it's, it's, a, it's a savage jungle in there. Period, right? I don't even know you look looking at for crazy. Yeah. I don't even know you stuff with you. Yeah. Yeah, when you was was that your experience when you were in there, Mike? Or did people not because obviously you were Mike? Well, they were cool, but I was locked up in the holding cell for like a couple of months, like six months or so. So people pretty much got to know me, but we couldn't get out. We were locked in the cell mm. 23 hours. But um, I was cool. I was just cool, but you just see it all the time. You know, yeah. people that you, you hang out with, you see them t um, testing people, you know? It just that was that's just what it was. Yeah, people was robbing people, cutting people, killing people. Survivor of the fittest. I like the yeah. fact, man. Like you ain't been, you've been able to do like some other really fun, shit, man. Like like that. Even when I saw the play, like you, you willing to like have fun, the, the hangover. Shit. Like so, you don't you don't take yourself as serious as people think you would. Like you know what I mean? Which I love. Man. Listen, you gotta laugh at fun, so why yeah. not laugh at yourself? Mm. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, that that little shot in the Hangover, that was a, that was one of them, that was one of them. I was so high in the Hangover movie, the first one. Uh, yeah, me too. But I was at the theater. <laughs> but I was. Uh, <laughs> uh, just when you saw the trailer, you I can't like, believe. Oh, I can't <laughs> believe. No, I I can't believe I did movies sometimes. It's oh, wiped yeah. out. Oh uh, yeah, and then when you did the, you know, you had to concentrate when you did the Broadway, shit, right? Which one? The, um, like you had to be up there because that. Hard, yeah, it was man. really hard, yeah. Because I really. did Broadway, but that's like a, you got to be concentrating to remember that. Shit. You got to listen, Um, you got to connect with the people. Yeah. You got to connect with them. And once you connect with them, they tell you what you they want you to, they want you to say. Mm. You can feel the energy, what they want. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you told that story like that? Like you didn't always have to say it like dot to dot? What you want to do? The, 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 what was, what was the one? The, like the one man show joint. Yes. you did. The first did time. One? Yeah, no, it's this one. But the first time we did it was like two and a half hours long. Yeah. And we had to make it short, make it make it like a um, an hour. So we took all the explosive ones to make it really okay. exciting. You know, uh, yeah. before it was like a story, so we go up, up, boom, and down, yeah, people's yeah. emotion. Mm -hmm. But boom, it's more like a comedy now. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, but yeah. I saw the Broadway, the long one. Yeah, it was long. Yeah, it was intermission, people selling uh, soul food. And we were doing two a night, so baby, I can't do two a night. <laughs> it's black ass. That's <laughs> And people in there selling soul food plates, Mike, you know, it's like, nah, nah. It was like, I wish. <laughs> no. <laughs> nah, man. So Cedric, you, do, you do any Broadway yeah. before, Cedric? Did you ever do Broadway? Yeah, yeah. Oh, isn't it beautiful? No, no, I like more about Broadway. When we finish, we go to dress and dress, yeah. and we come out that side door, and yeah, people out there asking for order gear. No, that's They're waiting for crazy, you, right? Man. Yeah. And it, it was definitely one of the, the moments where I grew the most as a comedian, as mm. an actor, though. Mm. Like, as a comedian, I've been in movies, and I had the, you know, mm. the opportunity, but when you do Broadway... Once like, you're on you that stage, you forget those movies. No, nah, you got to go get hard. That it's a whole different ballgame, right? And you don't, have the ability to be, you don't have the ability to be, like, like for a comedian, like a freestyle, yeah. like something happened in the room. Mm -hmm. You're a freestyle. You can't do that on Broadway. You got to yeah. do their words. Ain't no yeah. cuts. No, nah, <laughs> none of that. Movies, a lot of cuts. Ain't yeah. no cuts on Broadway. Yeah, none of that shit. It's crazy. Yeah. Cedric, can we talk about your journey and how you got to where you were? Like, how did it begin? Like, where was your first break? Obviously, you went to the University of Missouri. Okay? Yeah, yeah. I started in St. Louis. So, like, you know, comedy was popping, everything, deaf, you know, it was all about like going on like Johnny Carson show. Mm -hmm. and, and they had a show called Even at the Improv at the time. But, like, uh, so it's like late 80s. Mm -hmm. I started pop, my, my first time going on stage, like 87. So like 87, I'm out of college. Mm -hmm. I'm working at State Farm, yeah. but I, I don't want to have no job. I'm not, you know, it's starting to be where I don't want to be at, at work every day. Mm -hmm. So somebody, you know, you know, used to hear me talk, and they'd be like, no, nah, you be saying some funny ass shit. You could be a comedian. Yeah. So I did a I did a comedy show the first time I did it. I got a, I won $500, and that mm. was it. I was hooked. Did we get that 500 cash? Mm -hmm. 
I was rich as hell. Who drank it? <laughs> so, you know, so then I just remember like, you know, like going up every night trying to find comedy, yeah. working my job though, because my mother was a school teacher. So, you know, like going to school and getting your degree was a part of like what I had to be as a, you know, yeah. as as her son. Like, mm -hmm. so that was like, so I had a corporate job. I was, like I said, I was working for State Farm, suit and tie, mm -hmm. company credit card, all this yeah. shit. You should do a commercial I, I for them. Is. I know, we've been trying to. Yeah, can you say, man, I used to buy you. Yeah, man, I used to sell yeah, shit, I'm man. I used to be a claims adjuster. So, yeah, we've been trying to lock that in. So, they, you know, but you know, they've been taking their time on that little deal right there. And get Chris Paul, Chris Paul get all the money. We have to talk to Chris Paul, man. <laughs> Chris Paul do get all yeah, the money. Yeah, Patrick Mahomes. All, yeah, Patrick Mahomes yeah. get all the money. Yeah, yeah. we have to talk to him. We have to get yeah. some of that cash from the yeah, boys. Yeah, for real, little young. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's walk in there together, Mike. When I was the age, give me a job. When I was the age, I was a I was a I was a brat too though. I was a brat too when I was the age. Yeah, man. No, but then you know, Def Comedy Jam. How were you founded? I mean, just really, really just coming up, man. Like you know, comedy started to pop. Like the black comedy started popping. So we did. You know, uh, I went to New York. I did Showtime with Apollo. Uh, got a standing ovation. I only did it one time. Go back. That was it. I got that standing O. I was one and yeah, oh. Yeah, one and oh. Take boom. that record. Because New York wasn't no punk, man. Yeah. You go to New York, them comedy clubs be hard. And, yeah. and it's a lot of comedians there. And you got to be ready. So, you know, when I got a win, I took it. Then I went back. I did Def Comedy Jam. And then that was that was that was pop. That was like a big national joint. Mm -hmm. And then I wanted to go back again. I had wrote a lot of material. I went back to St. Louis. I was hosting mm -hmm. like a hood night. Like a lot of people, like uh, you know, all the dope boys used to have a club. And you know, you you go there. It was called uh, Manny's. That was the name of the club. But mm -hmm. I used to call it Sid's Backyard. Mm -hmm. And I was the host. And I I wrote all these jokes. Yeah. And so I wanted to go back on Def Jam, and I couldn't because I was just on there and I did BET out here. Uh -huh. And it just so happens that DL was stepping down, and and he was the host. And when he stepped down, I became the host, and that made me, that made me a household name because I was on like every night. But Comic View used to be on every. What's your best experience since you overall? Started? Yeah, Kings of Comedy. Yeah, no, yeah. man, original Kings of Comedy, man. That was it, man. We. We did it all, man. We, you know, we flew on private jets. That was the, that was that world, like you mm -hmm. know, you know. And again, like I say, that was the first time. I used to have all the celebs at the show, yeah. and you know, my party couldn't. I went on, I went on first. I used to go on first. Yeah, when it first started, I used to go on first. And so I used to have like the, all the party in my room, like on the break, cause. Steve and Bernie, they hadn't even been on stage yet, and I come up and they would do an intermission. So then I was like, yo, everybody come backstage. So yeah. I had my room be popping. I so met Bernie last. once. Yeah. Oh, you met Bernie? Yeah. Just once had a fight. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. B Mac was legendary, man. R.I.P. It was cool, like, yeah, for sure. And then he was like, he was one of the people that like gave me, like, you know, because he was like Chicago. I'm in St. Louis. Chicago was, was that city where you went to go make it. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, so I would drive like four hours, go to Chicago. And then one of the big things, the first big thing I ever won was the, they had a Miller Genuine, Miller, Miller Genuine Draft, the, the beer, they used to do a big comedy competition. And I won three grand and uh, I was rich as hell. So I had 500, then I won three grand. Mm. Come on, man, who drank it? <laughs> Come on, now, like I'm rich as hell, you serious? I got three, 3,500? So no, but but I but I remember they was that was at different times. But I remember that was a big thing. B Mac was somebody that had already won. He was a legend at that time mm -hmm. and locally. And so then and then when I came when I went to New York, he he gave me some advice. And so we just was always cool. And then so by the time we got to the Kings of Comedy, it was just like boom, partners. You know what I'm saying? Which was great. I just think yeah. um, that was a good idea. And then the oh, women great did. Idea. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did it all together one time too. Uh, before Kevin Hart did, before he did that stadium, I think. I think we probably had one of the largest. That was we used to have a record. We used to have like the one of the biggest comedy shows ever. Like we did like forty six thousand at the Who Georgia Dome. Who promoted Dome. that? Dude named Walter Latham. Yeah, yeah. Walter used to do the, all the kings of comedy. You ever think about doing yes. one of your own? What like that? Like, yeah, king of comedy. Like the king of comedy yeah. style. 
I mean, we did, we did With like the same the guys. If you want to, yeah, well, Steve, you know, Harvey, he he just super busy, man. We yeah. I tried to talk him into it. We tried to actually do it right be, before Bernie passed. It was mm-hmm. like a time we got really close. Mm-hmm. We was almost gonna do it, and then it just never worked out. And then when Harvey, like now Harvey, he don't really do stand up like that. He'll do like certain certain little performances or whatever, like. But he won't. He don't really do stand up. So he was like trying to figure out how he would make that work. Like certain people, like once they start really cracking, you know, it's like hard for them to go back, like, mm-hmm. you know, to do that, walk on on that stage yeah. and just be raw again. Like mm-hmm. that's a whole thing. And he went in a different direction. Yeah, no, nah, he, uh, yeah. he 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 rich as hell. Yeah. <laughs> Steve, Steve, you be trying to tell him about some show money. That means like, hey man, go on, say it, go on. <laughs> Let's go to Dubai. Yeah. <laughs> he be like, all right, dog. <laughs> it was good. So, if I'm correct, uh, you on the Proud Family, the new the reboot? Yeah, I was on, so I'm on both. I did the, the original. Yeah. So I play uh, Uncle Bobby on the Proud yeah, Family. Yeah. yeah, you know, That's from awesome. like, Ohio Plow. Yeah, I took I'm that like, voice <laughs> on the Bobby. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, sugar. Yeah, I took that voice and made him a character on the Proud Family. So yeah, I, we have a good time with so that. And then the reboot happened, and mm-hmm. they just ordered a second season. Fire. So it, yeah, that's it's, that's popping, man. It's good when something like that resonates, mm-hmm. and then you know, like years later, because then it, it came back up. Yeah. And it, and it's back like popping again. So you know. Yeah, what about the out- Outlaw Posse? So that's uh that's um. Mario Van Peebles, oh, you man. know, he did, he the, did first, the first one, yeah. Yeah, so he did the first Posse movie, and now he, he just redid that, and it was fun. I ain't never been in a Western either, so yeah. that was dope. I was able to, he shot it up in Montana, uh, you know, they were they doing all the Yellowstones and all that up there, so it's mm-hmm. really, it was really, really about that life up there, too. Yeah, like, you'd be sure. out in the wilderness, up in the mountains. And yeah, man, we like that. We producing that. That's a new show right there. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, yeah, I've been I've been producing that. That's the the big thing that I did in the last year mm-hmm. was like start taking like my so uh, when, about the so when, so when you say producing, obviously, um, you've been getting into that. How, yeah. How's that different from acting and obviously stand up? You get more money, huh? No, no, not no. necessarily. You get way more money if you actually own the show. You mm. know what I'm saying? But I mean, but this is like how you do multiples because I can't be on, I can't be everywhere. I can produce mm-hmm. several things and, and get, you know, multiple checks, mm-hmm. but I can only be on one show at a time. So if I create five no, no other more, shows, no, they can make you a I mean, yeah, five you or six things. shows, and you can be at your on your couch. I'm talking about, I'm talking about. Well, I do, I do a couple of shows, but I'm talking about like when I do, I want like the neighborhood. That's an old school show, like where we do 22 episodes in a year. So I, I work from August to March on mm. that show. So I only had three months to do other stuff. You think too much. It's a football yeah. season. That's Damn. a real season. That's, Damn. that's OG. But like most people, they do streamer shows, which is only 10 episodes. Mm-hmm. That's so I much. do 22, 24 sometimes. Mm-hmm. So. You're wow. glutton for yeah, pain. Yeah, let's go, man. And, and, but, that's, but you want that because it's an easy life, too. Like yeah. I mean, I'm able to be here on a, on a Wednesday at 3 o'clock because mm-hmm. that's, that's TV, right? Because you can just... You know, on a show like that, I can leave. I ain't have to be tied up to cameras. We ain't got to wait till the lights. Mm. Sun need to be this way for us to shoot this scene. And, yeah. You know, you do them like them single cam shows. That'd be like 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 doing a movie every week. I can do it. Yeah. I, don't, I like I like this OG style, so it's fun. So I'm just producing a lot more of them. So you're in a movie, aren't you? Yeah. Cars four. You were you were just in Cars four. Cars. Right? Cars. Yeah. All the Disney joints, planes. Yeah, isn't cars, that wild? Killing it. Yeah. Madagascar. Yeah, killing it. Listen. Yeah, man. You're a rated X comedian, and you're on Disney. I am not rated X. Yes, you are. No, man. Yes, you are. Come on. <laughs> he incriminating you. He got you. Hey, guys. guys. He said, I got I'm him. just joking. He nah, didn't say nah, that. Nah. No, no, I mean, you know, it definitely, I, I can definitely be R-rated when I'm on stage for mm-hmm. sure, you know what I mean? But but it's not like, you know, but it's good because you take that, you take that, mix that with the, the CBS brand, and, and then you get to do other shit. And so, you know, you know, that's all, that's all. I can respect that. I can respect that. Grinding, grinding. grinding, baby, so, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So was it, was it your plan then to go to acting? Like, how did that fall in? Like, was that kind of a thing that you were, that you saw? For sure. And you were like, you know what, I want to do this? When you do stand-up, that's your natural progression, right? Mm-hmm. You see, 
Most of that was like from when we started, you saw like Richard Pryor, mm -hmm. Eddie Murphy, all them people, they started stand up, then they go to TV, then yeah. they go to movies. Mm -hmm. That's the thing that you want to do. That's what you like Chris, Chris Tucker was the first person to really jump. Mm -hmm. That he I can remember, he jumped stuff. straight to movies mm -hmm. and blew up, mm -hmm. and then like so. Then that be then that became a move. But Martin, you think like Martin was a great stand up? They gave the okay for um, four Rush Hour Four. Really, Rush Hour Four? Yeah, they got to be in shape though. I yeah. saw Jackie Chan; he wasn't in Sometimes shape. Sometimes I don't know if you can go back and keep going back to the well. What you think? I don't know. Like, Fifteen uh, years after, I will take the check though for sure. Yeah, the check is gonna yeah, be. Check, that, check. that check was out. Yeah, that, check, that, that, that rush hour check was seen to be <laughs> mm -hmm. doing Chris Tucker all right, man. Mm -hmm. He was out there going hard, wearing tuxedos all the time. Mm -hmm. He be on stage in the tux all the time. Now it's like, oh, you rich, rich, <laughs> bougie, bourgeois, <laughs> Negro. Yeah. Oh, you need caviar. You get all the gray poupon. Mm -hmm. You got tuxedo. Um, yeah, oh, those fagua, fagua. Yeah, all Isn't it wild when who do we think we are when we have money and stuff? Like we never have money before we think of somebody important. No man. I, I I remember like of course when you get it, you do all the regular shit, you just buy a lot of cars and shit. I ain't do this shit you did though. You used to be handing people cars, man. What was I? <laughs> what I wish was you I when you was giving the cars out? Man of the people. I love that one story though, Ed, that Ed Lover tale where he had the car and then your boys came and got it back. And he was like, man, I gave you that car. He was like, damn. It was like, he yeah. had it for a minute too. Yeah. He's like, yo, yo, Mike, 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 he said, man. Had the best shit. car, had the best car. Oh, uh, yeah. The Ferraris. I ain't never, I had, I had a Ferrari for about. I ain't never had no Lamborghini though. I ain't never had no Lamborghini. Oh, that's cool. Remember I had the truck, I had the white Lamborghini truck. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Lemo 02. Yeah. What was it? That was the L M O O two. It's like a tank. Yeah. Like a tank. Lamborghini. Yeah, man. That's you know, that's just life 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 is uh life has been popping, man. Life is really groovy, I can dig it. You look like life has been good. Tell me about your 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 children. Oh man, well you know I got I got three kids. I got uh, three kids and a granddaughter. I got a daughter wow. from a previous situation, so she thirty. Who thirty? My my grand my oldest daughter thirty three, oh. thirty four, thirty three, thirty four. Something. So and then I got uh, a son that's twenty two and a daughter that's nineteen, and and then I got a granddaughter that's six. Anybody wants to be a comedian? They all funny, but not like not not like for real. Like you know, my mm -hmm. son is hilarious, shit. My daughter too, but mm -hmm. like my son, he the only one kind of interested in acting and in that world, mm. you know. But he also is like a you know graphic artist dude. So he he you know he he do animation. He all over. He so, but he directing a play right now. So he uh, he one of them, he kind of like me though. But he all over the place. He try all kinds of things. So that's what he should. Yeah, do. especially at this age. He want to have it all, you know, he wants to have it all, like, mm -hmm. you know, like nowadays, because I guess you get the social media of it all, and mm -hmm. you got, you feel like you got to be making money, you mm -hmm. got to be, like, top-notch. Yeah. But I think that, yeah. you know, I told him, dog, you, it's all discovery, man. Don't worry yeah. about it. You're 22, man. You're going to find it. Don't even worry about it, you know? Do you think, do you think social media actually helps, uh, help, helps comedians nowadays? Because obviously they have more platforms like TikTok, it has Instagram. To. It has to, right? For sure, I think you know definitely for like the the younger generation, they can go and build their audiences. Like you know, one of the things I don't see, like Kevin Hart, he been he been around since it was he was a, he was the, one of the first comedians to do it, but he understood it. Like, but guys like me, uh, Steve, you know. Fox, we we just own there. No, we don't we don't be on there doing skits. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't never really been able to like turn it into the what you know what people kind of really rock with it at. So mm -hmm. I do think it works though, but I don't, I don't I don't like even the term follow me. Like I used to say that like, hey, follow me on Instagram. We come from a generation. <laughs> yeah. man. Don't you follow me? You don't follow me. Yeah. <laughs> so all, uh, so sure. all the terminology oh, yeah. just was like, yeah. oh hey, hey, at me. Like no, all that. Who's you know, your hero? Uh, Robin Harris, the late yeah. Robin Harris was my guy, man. Good people, man. And he was like, you know, I like Robin because, like, when I came, like, when you came from St. Louis, like, all the big names, like, 
you know, Eddie Murphy was like superstar. You know, he wore mm-hmm. the leather and he was on TV. Mm-hmm. And then Richard Pryor was Richard Pryor. He was like, you know, the, the the super OG. Nobody, you just couldn't even you couldn't even think like you can rock with him. So you know, um, damn, that's my damn partner. So, but uh, you didn't, you know, so you know, Robin Harris was like, he just was a guy that. You know, he looked like your uncle. He looked like, like your a cousin. prophet. And then he talked. He talked the way he did his comedy. He was just right oh, he there. was king there. Wasn't yeah, he was king man, there? Though. Yeah. People go to the bathroom and put the light on. Oof. Oh, boom! He tell you, sir. But I just love the way that he was just a regular dude up there. So that was one of the kind of the the styles that I took when I started doing comedy. I try to. I'm more appealable, like somebody you know already. So when I'm telling jokes, you man, but you he, feel like you're hollering at your uncle, your cousin, mm-hmm, like. For it ain't, Robin you know, was great though. Oh, uh, you the best, man. You my Helped guy. so many comedians. Yeah, so and then but of course all them other people I named are like, you know, of course I love Eddie Murphy skits, all the skits and stuff he did on Saturday Night Live. Richard Pryor, great. But then I liked uh, you know, Robin Williams. Mm. Oh, he was you know, good. Yeah. Uh, he was really Carlin. Good. Yeah. You know, you know, that that crossover, you know, there was some there was some bad boys up there. Damon Wayans was one of my favorites. All them dudes was funny, man. Oh, gee. Yeah. Oh, gee. Yeah, yeah nah, that's, you know, that's, that's, that, that's, you know, I mean, when you do this business too, like, you find, you find it like being competitive, like, like mm-hmm. any sport. Yeah. But I don't really look at it that way. Like, like now, cause you know, like Chappelle mm-hmm. always been rocking, but now he like in that, he in that atmosphere, right? Where you're like, like he known for being the dude. And people will be like, yo, like, say what you think about that. I'm like, that's good. I don't compete. I'm, I'm a grown ass man, dog. Like, mm-hmm. I I do me. I just go out there to do me. I ain't so in you competition. Got you. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I actually, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really about the whole business being blown up, people getting off, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? People getting money, they showing how it can be done, and then mm-hmm. you just figure out how to do it yourself. But yeah, there ain't no hating in there. Ain't no hating in there. Everybody eats no, for once, real. Yeah, once someone blows up. Yeah. But I tell you, when Eddie Murphy first came out, Delivery, he was big. The biggest. He was big. Nah, nah. Yeah, and you know, nobody doing even like specials like that, like movies. No, he was like a big. comedy. He I was think Richard Pryor did Live on Sunset Strip as a movie, but so that had been rare though that you would see somebody do it. That's and why he killed it. Comedy, he so killed big. it. He killed it. Oh man, oh, he what? murdered that stage. We talking about like how two life and change where like theoretically like a lot of the jokes he did on that show you couldn't even do now like no. because of the political correctness. Oh yeah, you no, know, you couldn't even do that right now. That's crazy, life change. But then they'll go back and try to cancel you for that. No, for sure. I was actually about to ask you that question. How, how do you feel about the atmosphere now? Like, do you think it's harder for for people in comedy because of all the politics and? You know, I don't know. Political correctness. You, I just try to go up there and have fun. But I think, you know, I think it is. Like, you know, you got to be careful about what you say. You don't know what you're going to say that can, like, just cross a line. But if you have, but it's the job of the comedian to go out there and push the envelope. Yeah, like, for sure. oh, man, like, you say some shit. Yeah. You can get in trouble, though, like, quick, you know. You don't, you don't want to be, like, for me, I say you don't want to just be rude for the sake of no, being, being rude, rude, right, yeah. or just offensive because you can for be, sure. but... But you don't know what you'll say nowadays. There's so many subgroups. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You piss off the people that only put, you know, stevia in their lemonade, you know. <laughs> stevia against lemonade. It's folks. so nasty. It's like, <laughs> nasty. You're like, who? they like, we hate you. We use real sugar. you be like, damn, what I fucking say? Nah. You don't like none of that? You don't like the fake shit? Uh-uh. I don't like I, 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 I like that stevia. Oh man, Gave. I like Gave. Gave's really good. Gave. Yeah, I I like sweet like that. You know what I'm saying? So what what was one of what was one of the hardest times you've been through? Like when you reached the top, once you reached the top, and what was one of the best things that you experienced? You know, you know, you had that period where like you know everything was popping. Mm-hmm. I did like you know I had a couple of big movies, mm-hmm. and then I had some movies that didn't do well, mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden like you know you not you're not the it dude. Like, mm-hmm. so business not hot. You getting, you know, your calls, they're a little slower. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you start to feel it, right? So, 
And, and like like most people, I like I went out there. I got the big crib. I got the roses. Mm -hmm. I got the car. Taking care of other people. Mm -hmm. So you know, life had to. You know, you have to kind of figure out. You know how to how to get through and still still feel like yourself. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like so. Luckily for me, I had stand up, so I can always like go work. It was always an opportunity to go and pay the bills mm -hmm. and make sure. But it wasn't that super shiny stuff no more. You know, yeah. all the all the jet life. But for me, I'm like I'm I'm blue collar the way I think about it. Like I always really look like you know I came from St. Louis. I used to have a job. You know, I, I I stumbled up into finding what my life's path was, mm -hmm. and then I'm like happy just doing this. So, you know, you get the trappings and you can get fooled and think that's who you are. Like, yeah. yo, I'm this dude. But luckily for me, I, I considered that a downtime, but it wasn't because it was one of those things where I felt like I got humble again and understood what it was, mm -hmm. and then I was able to just you know take my foot and take my family, mm -hmm. and and we did it together. You know what yeah. I mean? And back and back back out here doing my thing at a high level. So, yeah. but that's it, man. That's the, that's the tough part about like just the the idea of like here when you at the top of the game, mm -hmm. everybody calling you and everybody you know making you mm -hmm. feel like that guy. Mm -hmm. When that don't happen, you ain't you know. You I don't get to go to the damn Rock Nation brunch. I just threw that out there. <laughs> that was all personal. I'm, I'm told not, I was told not to expect anything. I don't, what? Like, you know, don't expect anything. And it just yeah. happened. Just don't expect it. But I mean, that's cool. Do you do you feel like you was humbled by like just a lot of things? Even like even when you had to go to jail, did you get humbled by that? Or was it like you was already kind of you. You just happened to be a part of your circumstance. I don't know if that humbled me. Really? You know, mm. I don't know if that humbled me. When, my, when I lost my daughter, that humbled me. Uh, Church. I, yeah, uh, yeah, that because yeah, life gets real, right? Oh, like, oh does really it get real? real. You, don't you, care how much money you got, how famous you got, yeah. to deal with that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> deal with that, big shot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah famous yeah. boxer, tough guy. Yeah, all that's <laughs> over. Right? Yeah, that's really real. No. I think that that's you know that that's definitely one of those things too where, you know, you know for me it, it's like taking the spirit of, of all the kind of things and 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 trying to figure out like who you are and then walking your shoes man just mm -hmm. walking your own, walking your own shoes that shit is, that's the best thing you can do man. Big time. Yeah. So what else are you looking for to ask in there? So comedy. Raising and children. Tell us about that. You <laughs> missed you miss the mom. What'd you say, Mike? Tell us, nah. children, what's your thing? Oh, I wasn't really. You know, I mean, I did, I did. I love my kids. You know what I'm saying? But I was but. like, I was in that highlight of what I was doing in my career. So I spent a lot of time gone. You know, like nowadays, I spend a lot more time. But they, you know, they got their own personality, mm -hmm. their own lives. They kind of do their thing. You guys, you still got young kids? I have a 12 year old and a 14 year old. Those are my youngest. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I mean, you you know, I spend so much time with them, but when I have my other kids, I'm so wild and doing so much. That's kind of that's kind of like just what got I feel. To like a couple of years ago, to start liking me again. I was I was really tight with my kids though. Growing, I mean, I was with them because I was there, but I also was gone a lot. So I don't. I, I feel like to a certain degree, they I, wouldn't say that about me though. Up. They love me though. So. I got caught up, Sid. I just got caught up. That's, that's it. Though. That's the Too much on that's on. the thing. You out here, you trying to build and grow. You just like. That's the thing, right? You 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 kind of miss that part of it, especially you got like, you know, your kids got a good mom and they taking care of you. Feel like they in a safe environment. You like, all right, I'm gone. Like my oldest daughter, I didn't really have no like. That was just one where me and me and her mom, we was just sexing, and I had her, and I, so I ain't really, I ain't, I ain't, I met my oldest daughter when she was four, so that was the whole thing. She was already in the world, right? So. Uh -huh. So you had to build that relationship, you know. Mm -hmm. Of course, we ain't done that over time, but it, it you know, it, it still has that that estrangement to it because of that, right? And then you got, you know, and then my kids, you know, that live in the house with me, you know, that's a whole nother thing. So, but you know, they 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 growing up, and I feel like you know, like always, because my dad wasn't really around. So, you know, I feel like you know, you didn't you wanted to be a you wanted to be better than that, mm -hmm. and at the same time. You know, I definitely was all about like kind of being a selfish person. So you know, all my kids know each other, hang out with each other, they call with each other. They all know each other. I want them. I don't want to hide anybody from anywhere. I just want my kids to know each other. No, yeah. Go out together. We all go out. 
um, travel, go just hang out together, what family do. No, that, that's that, that's that's dope. That's how it should be, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, I used to have on the internet, on the internet, they used to say I had another kid that I don't know about. But you know, we, we that's just on my Wikipedia, so it wasn't real. Is Wikipedia be making? They be making it up, but I was concerned. Yeah, I know. I know he's gonna be concerned about one day. real shit? Someone said it to you like, "What is this?" I'll be out there. It was times in the it was times in the nineties where you be like, "Rolling dice." <laughs> like no, nah, but that's just crazy, dog. Yeah, you no, know, but uh, but that you know, I, I feel like you know, my kids are beautiful family, wife, great wife, man. I've been so I've been married like twenty three years, man. Wow. Congratulations, yeah, brother. Yeah, so awesome. Solid, solid. You hear solid, that, baby? Twenty two. My my wife is trying to get twenty out of me. Hey, man, <laughs> that's solid, though, man. You know what I mean? You got you. You you calm, you good dude, man. You know what I'm saying? It's all she you definitely got. Definitely gonna you. get twenty, Mike. She definitely. all calm over there. Yeah. She all chill. She wants that twenty so bad, cause she yeah. could leave me, huh? Get twenty and then she leave. She ain't going nowhere, Mike. She ain't going nowhere, man. That thing about the wife, wives, wives, wife, wives. They be wives, dog. That's when you you be like, thank God, go, thank God, I got her. Cause mm-hmm. you know you couldn't be out there. I could be in a with all the money in the world in a f- apartment. Eating and leftovers, post postmates every night, yeah. like no no love there. Yeah, you know? I, I, I think would, it is. Yeah, I always think about it like this as well. You know, what's the point of having all these things if you have no one to share it with, or you know? Yeah, so, you know, it's a beautiful thing for sure. You, you married? Know? Yeah, okay. just got married. Just got married. Young so. buck and married. You ain't got he ain't got six months in your belt. Yeah, six months. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, six right. months. Uh, yeah, six months. I'm. Yeah, I'm twenty seven. All right, like a baby. Yeah. Oh, you young, man. Yeah, I'm young, so you know. I got married late. I was, I was like 34. You're, you're a genius. You're a genius. Yeah, I was like 34 or something like that. <laughs> you're a genius. You hear that? Like, like, you're yeah. a genius. <laughs> Slip that in there. <laughs> so 34? And, I only, and I only been married one time. Like I said, I ain't, yeah, you know, my 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 oldest daughter. I ain't married. You know, I didn't. We ain't even never go nowhere. My oldest daughter, mother, but like, and then I was engaged to a girl twice. Same girl. Mm-hmm. It never, you know, we got engaged, broke up, took some years off, got back together, yeah. got engaged again, broke up. Yeah, that's some boomerang. That was it. <laughs> 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 <Come on back. laughs> hey man, you've been there now. Like, yeah, that's that some boomerang. You know, it was a lot of it, it was a lot of things. Cause one, you be like young, and you be thinking. The first time I was young, thinking like, all right, cool. I was just on ch- some young shit. Yeah, I'm a cherry. Right, and then you feel like, all right, cool. It's a couple years later, we see each other. Yeah. And then you like, then you go back to like, oh man, that was a good, that was good. Right now, you start remembering the good. Yeah. And then you think you can do it again, and then you realize, all right, we actually grew apart. We can't really do what we thought we had. So that was that. Yeah. You know, but good good folks though, you know, I think, you know, I've been blessed to have some good good people. I think about like that, you know, like throughout my life, I you know, I ain't never had no super relationship. I had one relationship that was crazy as hell where this girl used to want to fight all the time. Oh, that's crazy. You know, abusive. She was abusive. Yeah. I was in an abusive relationship. I just You were Mike like, Ty- you were Mike Tyson dodging then. Yeah, huh? yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. I was like, oh, incoming, man. right? <laughs> Hey, she was like, yeah, I was like, he, she's hitting me. I remember I had to throw ass in some bushes one night, though. That was like, that was, that's when I realized, okay, this is no good. This is toxic. I'm, I'm, yeah. This is bad ball. Yeah, before the, before the term was out, this is toxic. But that's when I knew something was wrong. And she was like tripping. She threw a bottle at me. Like, we was at a party. She was a wild. This chick was wild. Fine as hell, though. That was, that was the problem. Boomerang. Oh, that was the sh- <laughs> that's it. That's it. She was that. She was sexy. She had little Asian eyes, sexy, great smile. Crazy though. Like oh, always want to fight and talk shit. Call you names. You like yo. Like in front of people. Ah, you. Whoa. Hello, Who yeah. are you? Like, out to like, dinner. Yo, out to dinner. The, yeah, we out. out dinner. With out dinner. Everyone turn around, looking at you like, oh, fuck. Yeah. You know the people looking. Like, like yeah, yeah. You, could you calm down? You're like no. Nah, so yeah, that's. Sh- no, I ain't into no SNL shit. SNL, I was just saying, yeah, I, was I mean, punch you. No, no. Uh, <laughs> no, when I threw it in the bushes, I think they realized, like, okay, I don't like to get hit. This is going to go to the yeah, um, judicial okay. system, huh? Yeah, that was it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't want no smoke either. I don't want to ever be in this situation again. 
He like, nah. That was the only one though. That was, that was every, everything else was cold, man. You know. You twenty out. something years. Twenty three, right? Twenty three years, man. Yeah. Yeah. Met her met her on my on my first movie. I did this movie Ride. That was that was a movie Ride with uh, Malik Yoba. Mm. Snoop was in it. Mm. That was my first time meeting Snoop. Snoop, like, yeah, you kind of got in that category too now, Mike, when it comes to like smoking and shit. Mm -hmm. Like, it's certain people in the world that if they if they want to smoke with you, mm -hmm. you got to do you gotta it. You got to do it, yeah. Snoop, Willie Nelson, Wiz Khalifa, Mike Tyson. I think you just got in there. You used to then be in there. And then you crossed that. over. I, listen, and you officially became. I, I worked real like, hard uh, for that. Yeah, I see. I see. I see you <laughs> take great, great honor. Great honor. And, and being that, I was like, yo, like this the way he was. Matter of fact, what about Gully? Oh, right over there. Oh, right there. Actually, this package is for you right here. Yeah. From Tyson to Potter from Mike. This is the hottest thing this is, oh, this is the, the Tyson Farms? Yeah, Tyson 2.0, baby. Not Tyson What is he? Ranch. Are this gum? Yes, brother. Also, not, oh, not the ranch. So this Best is different. The Tyson 2.0. The ranch is dead. Uh, Tyson yeah. ranch is Excuse me, man. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, calm down, man. All right, uh, and this is a pen. Oh, man, what's the, what's the, so this is like a gum? Yeah, open them up. Chase Pete. All right. Give me a piece Mike Bites. I like yeah. it. I like Mike Bites. That's the land the whole field did. Oh, no. This is... <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Why well, you think I'm bullshit? Just shut that ear, boy. No, oh, uh, no. Uh, you know what I, I get carried don't. away sometimes. No, what I don't. <laughs> I know what I know. Hope it ain't though. Is that, that commercial hilarious? Time I saw your that commercial. ass was eating mushrooms on it. Remember that? You had so much shit in your mouth. I said, if they don't get this off TV. <laughs> yeah, he kept eating mushrooms. He was doing an interview. He did. Yeah. What was that? What was that? Mike ass. When was that? I don't know. It was on some podcast. That's hilarious. It really is. Did you have to? Did you have to get Holyfield to sign off on it? No, nah, he's my partner in this. Oh, that makes sense. Mike bites. Is he me and his commercials on television and YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, check this out. Ain't nobody in the world getting paid. Ow. Who? Who in the world? <laughs> Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah. Who in right. the world getting paid for a fight they had 25 years ago, 30 years ago? Still getting paid from it, man. That's what it's about. Do you remember? Did it taste like this? No, this shit is nasty as a mother. It tastes like shit. Yeah. Man, that one was when it, when it happened, Mike. Like, obviously, it was just a natural reaction, right? You were just like yeah. pissed. What, like what? How? Like how that come about? He would beat my ass and headbutt me. And he was already me up. Why was he using his head? You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? He's already fing me up. Why is he using his head? I took it personal. Yeah. Bump. Yeah. He had a big <laughs> head though. <laughs> Especially then. I said, anytime you gotta have a button up wife beat on. <laughs> I just, I just don't screams. Do don't do this. Just screams. Don't do this, man. Don't do this. Don't do this. Come on. That nigga huge. That nigga huge. Big shit. I remember that. God, don't like, do this. Don't do this. <laughs> Did you ever like, like, like to get in shape? Like you, you have like had to cut out sugar and all that. Oh, shit. Everything, you ever do that? Everything. You that everything, discipline? Yeah. Can you do that now? Like, right, baby. Do I do that? You'll do it like where you'll just cut like sugar out. I yeah. can't. You like St. Bart's? It gets, it gets creepy. I've been there a couple of, it gets really creepy sometimes. Why? Too many fuckers in your face. Well, that's because uh, you might go. It's a smaller yeah. island too, though. Like, you might yeah. face them. I feel like that's everywhere you go, huh? Yeah. You can't go anywhere, huh? Well, we pretty much know most of the people there. We all same people go. Maybe yeah, they might yeah. be a friend or two. Yeah. Everybody knows each other. Yeah. We all go to it every year, so we all know each other. Remember we went to the Robin's house, baby? Not the um Robinstein's house, Robinstein. With him and his wife. But anyway, I saw him on television. He was into, he was interviewing Paul John Paul Polson. I think it was John Polson, yeah. Well Mike usually asks people is 
<laughs> what do you have to tell all the people that are watching? He has millions of he has millions of viewers. You yeah, what awesome. motivating words that do you have for them? And also, where can they find you on social media? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. What's up, y'all? Shit, you see it entertaining. You know what I'm saying? I've been I've been around doing this. Uh, you know, I just I, I already always like to just tell people, man, try to be a good person, man. You know, mm -hmm. in life, you know what I mean? You know, think about that, you know, you do you, do do life to the way you want to do it, but be be a citizen. Know that there's other people in the world that's got their own life going on, being mm -hmm. good, doing what they got to do. They got families to raise, so ain't no reason for you to be out of just being a, a tyrant and a villain to everybody, you know what I mean? Right. So just try to be a good citizen, you know, you know what I say? But wake up and be happy, man, and, and look for that happiness, so... Uh, that's how I do. I try to live life on a forward thinking, positivity, energy, man. And uh, and you know, I don't spend a lot of time on negativity. So when people, you know, anybody doing any kind of hateration shit around me, they can go on about their business. I keep I keep it moving, and that that and that includes to other folks. I just don't like the energy. So you know, I'm I'm all about that. Living life, having a good time, doing things that's fun with people that's fun, showing a lot of love, getting a lot of love. So that's what I encourage, man. So y'all can go uh, check me out on Instagram at said the entertainer at said said C E D the entertainer blue check, and then uh, that's mm -hmm. on IG, and then uh, you know, and then. Um, I am Cedric. That's the, like the website shit where you can kind of see everything. You see the tour date, stuff that's popping off. We're about to go on tour uh, starting in March. I got uh, the uh, Straight Jokes, No Chasers, me, Mike Epps. Oh, that's lit. Me, Mike Epps, oh, Earthquake, Earthquake, DL Hewley, wow. DC Young Fly. We doing a 30 city run. We're going to be out in LA in May. That's going to be dope. We're at the forum. We're doing all arenas. So that's going to be dope, man. Y'all going to come see that tour. Uh, I got my show, The Neighborhood, on CBS on, on, and on, on Paramount+. Plus. You can see that's in syndication now. We just did 100 episodes. I just directed that. So, you know, and then I'm producing several other shows, uh, Finding Happy, Johnson, all of them on Bounce. Uh, we got some more stuff popping off, some movies I'm producing, Above the Line. We about to start shooting. Uh, and the, the Outlaw Posse movie coming out, Mario Van Peoples, Whoopi Goldberg. Fire. So, we, you know, a lot of, a lot of really cool shit. I got a book. I did a book. Oh, I did a novel. So I wrote a novel based off my grandfather. I don't even know if I'm supposed to be announcing this shit. Yet. Don't do it. Don't, oh, don't, do, don't it. do it. Don't do it. Thank you, Mr. King. And when is the march in Mississippi gonna start? Let's go, man. Is it true you make your own wine? Yeah, yeah. I got wine. Tell us about that. Tell us about that. Tell us about the wine. I do. Uh, I need some. Uh, that. Yeah, I need yeah. Some of that. What's I, the name of it? It's Zetta. I named after my mom, Rosetta. Uh -huh. So Zetta, Zetta. Yeah, S E T T A. That country. Yeah, Cab, that's a, that's, that's a, uh, that's, it's a Napa Valley blend. So Cab, Syrah, uh -huh. uh, Merlot, beautiful Ooh, though, beautiful blend. That, yeah. And that. then I did, and I just, that, so that's the, yeah, we on the second vintage of that. And then I did my white this year, I named after my sister. So it's just, it was just growing up, it was just me, my mom, and my sister. So, so that, and it's called my sister Sharita. That's the name of the second wine. So, how do your family man, feel good. about your success? Oh uh, man, you know they love it, man. My, you know it's a beautiful thing. Like like you said, my mother was a school teacher. She was able to. She passed in in, in 2015. So she had the ability to see me be. You know, you know she experienced it. You know, I was able to buy her a house and cars and send her on trips. And so you know, so I felt like she was able to like experience my success with me, live a great life. My sister, she a, prof a professor out at uh, Pepperdine. So, oh wow. Great school. So she her own, yeah. she her own, you know, machinery, do her own thing, and so that's it, man. My my family's been able to really rock with me, man. So, and and I feel you know happy to, uh, for their successes, and you know as well as them get the experience of mine right there. <laughs> Whack, what up? You know, <laughs> so good. What's that? Hey, this is another good episode of Hot Boxing. Once again, I'm Mike Tyson. It's Bash. And it's Cedric the Entertainer. Cedric Entertainer. What's up, y'all? Thank you very much. I'm out of here. Out. We're going to yeah. get blue face now. Uh -huh. <laughs>